Hello. Hello. So they are remaking The Crow. Something that as goths and 90s babies, we were both very interested in. And then we saw the first look pictures. And that, um... That made us less excited. But the trailer, the full trailer for the new movie is out now. And we are going to go in with a blind reaction to it. If it turns out to be good, we'll be very, very happy. If it turns out to be trash, then we will just go back to watching the 90s one every single night. <laughs> Personally, I am going to be judging this movie on three things. Number one, character and set design. The character design in the 90s movie was incredible. The outfit, the hair, the makeup, it was iconic. It was incredible. Next up is the aesthetic choices of the movie. That was a very, very important part of the original Crow movie. The entire movie basically takes place at nighttime. It's gritty, very muted color tones. And lastly, arguably, one of the most important factors is the soundtrack. The 90s Crow soundtrack was a masterpiece. Obviously we're not expecting the same thing for this reboot but the music choices are very very important especially for a movie like this. My main thing here is that they don't completely copy off the original. The original is perfection. We don't need another one of them. I don't want them to try and do that. I want them to do their own thing. I want them to really kind of go off the comics and show us something we haven't seen before. People's stories that we haven't heard before. I don't really care about the soundtrack. I think it can make a movie, but I'm more on this for the story. Here we go, The Crow 2024. Please don't screw this up. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. Right, I know there were a lot of comparisons made when we saw the first look pictures, but he even kind of sounds like the Joker. <laughs> like, he literally kind of sounds like the Dark Knight Joker. Seems like this is like an add-on for the Joker movies or something. What's the first thing you liked about me? <laughs> Do you want to know how I got these scars? What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. Ooh. So it seems like they're going into like the backstory of Shelley, the reasoning behind why what happens happens. That's cool. I mean, that was something you were kind of angling for. I thought in the original that happened randomly. That was kind of really scary, you know, to be like, oh yeah, that's true. It can happen to anybody and it can happen at any moment. And even if you're not like involved with like the wrong people or anything, it can just randomly happen to you. And that's something that like really like hit me in the heart. Shelley did kind of get brushed under the rug a bit in the, in the original movie. It's kind of just like, here is a bunch of happy memories of the two of them sitting together and being in love but she was a very one-dimensional character Oh I don't care about the soundtrack. <laughs> I, care, I, care. I don't care about the soundtrack. <laughs> I I'm more here for the story. <laughs> I, honestly, I just said that because I was so worried. But they have Ozzy Osbourne. But they have Ozzy Osbourne. So... Yay, Ozzy, go get that bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, even if it's the only song. Yeah, even if it's just like for the trailer or something. When someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens. That the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. The Billie Eilish crying black tears thing. Come on now. I, I know, I know, but it's just so like, oh. We were recently watching the TV show and that happened and I was like, that's kind of cool. If they had it kept that makeup is what I said. That's cool, that makes sense. Like, cause you know, they're crying black tears and then they just keep it like that rather than how did they get these precise lines? So that's kind of what I did today. Also, I just really hate how he looks. I, I know everyone has said it and we looked at the pictures and everyone was like, oh, can't drizzle all the tizzle. <laughs> And yeah, he is very little peep. And I'd love to turn around and say, oh yeah, that's cool, but it isn't. If I saw that guy in public, he would ask me for a cigarette. I know, right? This one isn't for the goths and it's also not for our generation, but it just, 
I just don't, I just, it doesn't, doesn't jive well with like the movie, you know what I mean? A lot of people are feeling the way Connor is feeling. And I get it just because of the tattoos. It's just the tattoos that really annoy me because they're kind of just funny, like the nipple tattoos. He looks like he's about to launch a GoFundMe for his mumble rap album that he'll release only on SoundCloud. But there's nothing wrong with that, you know? It doesn't like, and I'm all for the all aesthetic aesthetics. of the movie though. It's not the crow. Exactly. Exactly, and that's what I like about this. Like, they're going and doing their own thing. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I'm gonna what? kill the Batman. <laughs> I can't unhear it or unsee it. I just want to know what the face tattoo says, because I think it says, like, baby. I have no idea what that says. But is that a teardrop tattoo? It's an upside down diamond. It's even worse than a teardrop upside tattoo. Upside down diamond. That was the name of his first EP, Diamond Tears. He looks very British as well. That's the other thing he that's does look me British. Up. He looks There's really wrong with that, He though. looks really British. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I no. like this. I like this. Book. No. It's kind of changing now, though. It's uh, no. It's turning into the Joker. To be fair, I get that though. It's really hard to keep like a crying, drippy look for a whole movie. But I think if they had kept it like that, that would have been really cool. But completely understand. But why go so triangular? Yeah. If he didn't have this hair, this makeup would not look too bad. If he had longer hair, this makeup wouldn't look too bad. It's too many things all at once. All of them look like the Joker. It looks like Jared Leto, Suicide Squad, Joker. They could have rectified that by going, oh, we'll give him a different haircut. I don't know how so many people worked on this and looked at this and no one went, this looks a lot like Jared Leto's Joker. If you're really gonna look into it, like so many people dressed up as the Joker and stuff for Halloween and that movie probably made a lot of money. I feel like it is one of those things that happened they kind of did it either purposefully or they realized and said that will get people talking about it online and no publicity is bad publicity so if people are memeing all over this movie online at least the movie's being talked about and it's not gonna go like without notice look at what you've become you know that love promises only pain No idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. Like, how hard was he channeling Heath Ledger's Joker for that line? Honestly. No, I do. I can't. I can't. I, can't, I literally I can't. That's let a it. movie. What if the crow was actually the Joker? It's very Batman. It does look very Batman. Yeah, like, exactly. I love the Batman movies. Aesthetically, he's Jared Leto's Joker from Suicide Squad. His acting and his voice lines are Heath Ledger's Joker from The Dark Knight. And it aesthetically looks like The Dark Knight, which I'd be fine with because I love those movies and I love Heath Ledger's Joker. But this looks to me, if you told me this is a Joker, a Heath Ledger's Joker, Joker origin story movie, like a prequel to The Dark Knight Rises. I would have went, oh yeah, that makes sense. That looks good. I'll go see that. But it's not The Crow though, is it? <laughs> How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. They had to finish it with that. What was that? <laughs> <It's like laughs> Eric Draven. Get all time. <laughs> so first thoughts, does it look like a bad movie? No. no. It actually looks pretty okay. I mean, I'm definitely gonna see it. Mm -hmm. We was gonna see it regardless. That could have been the worst trailer I've ever seen in my life. And I still would have went to go see it. We have seen worse crow movies, yeah. I can tell you. I have definitely <laughs> seen worse crow movies. It looks very violent, which is cool. Liquids going everywhere, seeing stuff go in and out of places and things yeah that's a pretty cool aspect i like seeing them being like really badass the soundtrack i mean we got ozzy which segued into post malone i like post malone i don't dislike post malone whatever was happening at the end there <laughs> didn't love that it was funny though yeah it was funny so aesthetically it looks pretty good it seems to be taking a lot of leaves out of christopher nolan's dark knight trilogy definitely yes. which 
I'm not complaining about love those movies. It's not the gothic, dark, monotone thing that the 90s movie was, but obviously, like you said, they don't want to completely copy it. It's very like modern action movie. I don't hate that. His outfit as the crow, the long coat and stuff. Cool pretty cool the cuffed joggers i'm kind of on the <laughs> fence about them as i, I didn't think notice. most of tiktok will be as well you can't cuff your joggers you know you can't cuff your cargo pants clearly a millennial on the costume department of this movie <laughs> but i don't hate it i definitely don't hate it costume wise the makeup i dislike because obviously it looks like joker but I do think that if he had different hair, it wouldn't actually look that bad. I think I'm dunking on the makeup more so because of how it looks with that SoundCloud rapper haircut and the face tattoos and stuff. And then otherwise, I, I think I'm a little disappointed character design wise because no one is really distinguishable in any way. That's true, because in the movie, we've had a lot of aesthetically cool looking characters like the couple in the bar, the ones that want to buy you a drink, so if you know who I'm talking about. Top dollar is very prim and proper suit it's giving falcone from the dark knight trilogy i don't hate that either it makes sense but it's just not very like aesthetically memorable or anything like that fka twigs has some interesting aesthetics and outfits and stuff very ethereal very interesting i'll say i know that tiktok and stuff stan fka twigs i have really no attachment to her know. as an artist or an actor i've listened to some of their music I, i'm not big on it but seems to be doing a very good part as as shelly i think they're doing a great job for the character my 100 percent honest reaction to this trailer eh it hasn't turned me around entirely, but it also hasn't turned me off completely. I think it's gonna be a pretty solid B tier movie. Yeah, I think it was okay. I know people are probably gonna be mad to hear that. They're gonna want us to be like really angry and be like, how dare you do this to the crow? But everybody, you need to know that no one's ever gonna take the crow away from us. We know it's there. We know it's the best. We know nobody could ever recreate that. And we don't want them to recreate it is the thing. Like if someone made a great recreation of it, I'd, I'd still be like, you know, the original is the best and you know everything that happened and everything it deserves to be the best i think this is just something for people that maybe don't know the crow can enjoy it and we can still enjoy it as well i know this is gonna be people's first introduction into the crow and who the crow is and i definitely don't think that's great when we say we love the crow they'll think of this and i'll be True. like not that crow you know that's probably gonna be a problem hashtag not my crow no, not, not my crow you've touched on something there that i think is pretty important yes as goths and yes as 90s babies we should be like oh, this is terrible you know like why are they remaking this there was nothing wrong with it etc the thing is like you said we already have the movie we have the 90s crow so this movie as much as goths and 90s babies are upset about it it's not for us it is for the zoomers it's for gen alpha and all these things are kind of being marketed and geared towards them we are not the demographic for movies anymore no one is making the movies for us they're making them for tweens teenagers and 18 to 25 that's the demographic that movies are being made for now now obviously there are a lot of goth and alternative zoomers and stuff who are gonna think that the 90s movie looks better but it's not for that it's for a wide audience it wants to get the batman fans it wants to get the marvel fans the punisher fans daredevil fans that's what it is geared towards and i understand that so it doesn't upset me because it's not taking away from Alex Proyas's 90s gothic classic movie. That's our one. This one is not ours. This is for the TikTok generation. Let them have it. If they hate it, if they rip it to shreds, not our problem. Hashtag not my crow. I think people's main issue might be that they did kind of want a remake of our crow, like an updated mm. version of the crow that we had and i completely understand that because you know you want younger generations to see that as well and to see what we got to see but better but at the same time we're like leave it alone kind of thing i completely understand that but we do have updated versions i was just about to say side note there is a 4k of the crow that we watched recently and it is fantastic you it's can see phenomenal so many the detail is amazing it was like watching the movie for the first time it was we were seeing stuff we had never seen before so do let us know in the comment section down below if you want 
to see us do a full review of the movie once it's out. Let us know down below what you think. Are you excited? Do you like the aesthetic? Are you going to be there to see it? Or are you fully team hashtag not my crow? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. And as always, until next time, see you in your nightmares. nightmares.